on June 9th and 10th, I sent three emails to the superintendent. You talk about, you know, bringing questions that the superintendent doesn't respond to. Um, I copied you, Dr. Caldwell, on two of them. It was apparently a bomb threat and the evacuation at the McKinley School. Uh, can, can he answer now my simple question? How and when were the parents of those students notified that their children had been evacuated from the school due to a bomb threat? Charlie, we the, the bomb threats in this, this age of terrorism and it seems weekly their attacks and in 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 unlikely cases that you know we this is treated like personnel issues. You know, the more information that we make public, the more likely that things can happen again. And so uh, so we will not comment at all about any activities of of terrorism, violence, threats, you know, harassment um, publicly. For the security so, of our you, district. So, so you think it was appropriate not to notify the parents about the situation as it was unfolding? Charlie, you, you don't necessarily know if parents were notified or not notified. That was my question. Were they notified? How and when? Uh, what I, I just said, Charlie, we are not talking about these issues of security for the security of our district. We're not going to publicly talk about it. I'm not going to answer those questions. Well, I think it's a big mistake uh, not to talk about these things since they are so serious and so important. And I'll also raise it on April 14th. There was a shooting in broad daylight uh, just a, a, a couple hundred feet from the McKinley School. That shooting occurred at about 1.30 p.m. Superintendent Johnson did provide some information to me. He said that there was a shelter in place at McKinley School uh, put into effect at 158, which is nearly a half hour after the shooting. I followed up to ask, you know, what the holdup was, what took so long, why wasn't the action taken sooner? And I asked him when he learned about the shooting or when the district was notified of the shooting, because I fear that there's poor coordination between the local police and the security apparatus of the district. He never responded to those follow-up questions. You, sir, do you have anything to say about that uh, delay in uh, um, securing that building after a shooting took place um, just a stone's throw away? Sorry, I'll, I'll repeat again. We have been advised that no comments on security issues. Um, we're not going to make any, you know, not going to make any, any public comments about security issues because it's essential, for, especially in this day and age, and you know this as, a, you know, as someone that's involved in the media, that that you know making public certain things is not in the safety of the district so we're not making a comment on that okay well yeah i do know it's actually important to share accurate information as crises are unfolding and i feel that the district's been dropping the ball can you tell me who advised you not to give out any information about uh these security matters several people within and outside i happen to be involved nationally uh, Charlie, with a number of, of national as well as uh, district issues. So uh, multiple people have advised me. Can you, can you name any of them? No, can, can you name them? them? So you're not going to name who, who's giving you this. I'm just curious who's giving the advice to not inform parents about situations involving their children uh, being evacuated or forced to shelter in place in their school due to very real threats. I mean, New Brunswick has a very serious gun violence problem. And when a shooting takes place right near a school, it's appropriate to do a shelter in place right away, but you should tell people you're doing it. And uh, similar to that, when there's an evacuation and children are physically removed from the building where the parents think they are, the parents of those children should be notified. And if that didn't happen, that's a failure. Maybe you should ask your security professional friends what they Sorry, think of this me, situation. Let me correct you right there. You call yourself a reporter, so report what was said. So this is not, you know, I'm not gonna allow you to do this. No one said to you that we are not going to notify parents. I told you we were not commenting about security issues. So if you are in fact a reporter, get the words correct. We're not commenting about security issues. You said nothing about parents being notified. So I'm not going to let you on my watch mince words. You've got to deal with facts, Charlie. That's what I said. You know, we have to nothing more information. And thank goodness that Carlos Ramirez went there and reported the, the limited information we had so that people could know what was going on. I asked a very simple question. How and when were the parents notified? You refused to answer. So you can either, you know, correct the record with facts uh, or, or just 
uh, deal with it that you're not going to share the reality of it. Uh, okay. How and when so were the parents notified? No comments. No comments. You're, you're familiar with that term. No comments. Okay. So thank you, okay. Dr. Caldwell, Mr. Crowdable. For the record, it's been six minutes and 15 seconds, so we've given time. You got extra time. Be back in thank forth. you. We'll see you next month.